hey y'all welcome or welcome back to my channel if you're new you're gonna love it here and if you're returning what's up as you can see i am back with another tutorial this is a middle part quick weave with curls this hairstyle was very simple and it came out so cute so if you would like to see how i achieve this look just keep on watching <laughs> Hey y'all, let's get started. So the hair that I'm using for this quick weave is from Curls Queen. In this box, I received this gold bonnet along with this gold brush and this silk bag that the bundles came in. I received two light yakky 18 inch bundles. As you can see, the hair isn't super duper shiny and silky. It gives off a natural look, which is perfect for blending in with my leave out. Moving on to the braid now, I sectioned off some hair from my leave out and did about seven braids going to the back. Like always, before putting on my cap, I always oil my scalp. So here I am just using my wild growth oil because you know, I want to keep my hair nice and moisturized while it's under this quick weave. Next, I'm going to apply my black wig cap that I got from the beauty supply. And now that the cap is on, we are ready for the mold down. I prefer to use got to be spray because it's easier and quicker. I start off by spraying my hair down one side at a time, making sure to only cover the braids going to the back and not to cover or spray my leave out. Once I have sprayed a good amount, I go in with my blow dryer to dry the spray down. When doing this, you must use a lot of spray to really stiffen the cap. I usually go back and do an extra two or three layers just to make sure. So here I am doing the other side and this is what it's looking like. You will know when the cap is molded down completely when it feels stiff and crunchy. Now I will be using my scissors to cut the cap off. As you can see, I put two fingers under the cap just to make sure that I am not cutting any of my hair. I make sure to take my time and not to rush because I don't want to make any silly mistakes. Now that it's cut, this is what it's looking like. Now to begin the quick weave, I'm gonna measure out the track. Once it's measured, I cut the track. And then I will be using my hair glue, of course, from the beauty supply. And I'm gonna put the glue on the track. and lay the track down. Once again, you're gonna measure out the track, cut the track, apply the glue, and then lay the track down. Very simple, but time consuming. Also, if you wanted to do this style with an extra bundle or two extra bundles, all you would do is either double up the tracks or glue the tracks down closer together.
once I am a few tracks in, I like to go in with my blow dryer to dry everything down because the last thing I need is to be walking around with some loose tracks. First bundle is done. Now I am moving on to my second bundle. Lately, I've been using three bundles for my quick weaves, but these bundles are pretty thick, so I can get away with just two. And this is when I start to get excited because I am on my last and final piece. Once that's laid down, I can move on to my leave out. Of course, I start off by taking the braid down. Next, I go in with my heat protecting spray. Although I usually don't put a lot of heat on my hair, when I do, I like to keep it protected because I don't want heat damage. So when straightening my leave out, I like to do small sections. This help really get the hair nice and straight. I also use my skinny flat iron to really get those roots.
I would also like to mention that my leave out gets very frizzy, especially in the middle of my head. Like I said before, I don't use that much heat on my hair. If I'm not wearing a wig, I'm wearing a quick weave. But I usually do a side part. I love side parts. Middle parts just aren't my thing. But I wanted to do something different this time, so... Now that my leave out is straightened, I am parting my hair with my red tail comb. And so far, this is what it's looking like. Now for the styling, I'm going in with my scissors to even out the ends. I wasn't really worried about doing it perfectly because I knew that I was doing curls, but it's good enough. So this will be my first time using a razor comb. Here I am just doing a test run just to see how it works. You know, I kind of had to get a feel for it. I really wanted layers with this look. I love curls. I love layers. I love volume. So that's kind of the look I was going for. Before layering the rest of my hair, I decided I wanted to curl it first. I'm not sure if that was the correct thing to do, but that's what I did. So as you can see, I am using a curling iron, of course, curling the hair going back away from my face. I am using medium sized pieces. I don't want the curls to be too small and too tight. I kind of wanted the loose burl curl type of look. Now that the curls are complete, they look nice, but the hair is kind of flat. So now I'm going back in with the razor comb and I'm about to start doing these layers. Like I mentioned before, this is my first time using this tool. I'm not sure if I was going high enough uh, with the razor. Maybe I should have been going up more near my scalp. I don't know, but it turned out okay. So this is how it turned out. I haven't went back in and fixed my leave out yet. Before I show you all the final look, don't forget to shop Curls Queen. Check out my description for the info on the hair that I have in my head now. 
Also, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I'm on the road to 10K. And yeah, I'm going to see y'all in my next video. Bye, y'all. I got options, and I don't wanna tell you to drop it, but I don't wanna play your 